Hi, my name is Matt Smith and I am a licensed funeral director and embalmer here in uh, the great state of Michigan and have been licensed for uh, a little over 20 years, uh, going on 21 actually this year and have uh, been in the business for a little bit longer than that. Graduated mortuary school in 1994 and worked for a firm as a funeral director and embalmer. Uh, for about five years before I opened up my own trade embalming service uh, in 1999. From there uh, I started embalming for local funeral homes in the Detroit metro area and then uh, began uh, a career in uh, sales with the Frigid Fluid Company. Uh, it's a, a funeral supply company and um, they produce and manufacture uh, lowering devices and embalming fluid for the funeral industry. And uh, from that point, I began developing seminars and began uh, training other embalmers uh, with a postgraduate type of training and specializing in the um, restorative art field of embalming and uh, setting the features and restoring the body. Uh, out, of, out of country training, I do a lot of that. I travel outside the country and, and, and you know, perform embalmings and restorative art. Uh, most recently, I have just actually returned from Trinidad and Tobago, uh, where I cared for the former president of their country. And that was my uh, second dignitary that I handled for their country, uh, the first being their uh, prime minister, uh, 18 month, about 18 months ago from today. And, uh, and so I do a lot of that. I do a lot of traveling. I've traveled uh, to China uh, three times, um, Mexico several times, Puerto Rico. Uh, Homer bound shipping. I have a uh, uh, international shipping company where uh, we bring uh, loved ones back home that have passed, uh, that have died out of out of town. Where if someone goes on vacation and they die, we facilitate them coming back home uh, for a dignified service. So we have agents all around the country and different parts of the world uh, that handle those services uh, for us. And so we're basically the conduit to your local funeral home. Learn. Uh, I also have a, uh, an e-commerce site, uh, Morbid. It's a, it's, a, uh, it's a funeral supply uh, company online for funeral directors uh, for discount, <clears throat> discount products. We're going to talk a lot about a lot of things. We're going to be very comprehensive in the next couple of days. But... slightly up. And this little eminence right here protrudes out. Mm -hmm. This area protrudes out because of lips go in and these come out, cheeks go up. This is Matt Smith here, and we're here at the Professional Balmers Institute at Piedmont Technical College. You can hear some activity in the back. We're getting ready to go in the lab. Uh, we have had two days of, of lecture and, and a half a day of lab so far, and we're getting ready to step in so you guys can see kind of firsthand of you know, what we're doing. And uh, it's postgraduate work uh, here. 
uh, for licensed embalmers to get hands-on training on, on situations where you normally wouldn't be able to find yourself into. Uh, and you can be free to make mistakes here. That's what's great about having uh, Piedmont Tech and having uh, the, the bodies for study. And so we're very grateful uh, for Piedmont Tech. We're very grateful for the, uh, the, the uh, anatomical gifts that the families have given so we can study and learn and improve our great profession of funeral service and embalming. So follow me. We're going to get into the lab and see just what's going on here at Professional Embalmers Institute. Uh, cases here that we can study and work on and do some training and we have uh, four stations here you see some gathering of some students because they're probably working on something specific and we've got some students that actually have uh, some great deal of experience that are also doing some some training and actually showing everybody including myself some very very cool techniques so this isn't just me you know teaching other embalmers it's it's embalmers teaching other embalmers that's what's so fantastic about this uh, professional embalmers institute is because it's a it's a group effort it really truly is it's a great place to meet new embalmers you guys having a good time here you guys doing all right yeah, yeah. yeah. excellent learning this, learning something Yes. Fantastic. All right, so that's basically what uh, Professional Embalmers Institute's all about. It's all about learning, improving, and elevating. So. And you, you saw how Nelson didn't actually say the word F. He just used the letter. Uh, one thing that we have to be very cognizant of, and this is... Uh, this family donated, he donated and his family donated his remains so we can learn. Mm -hmm. And so this is, this is of the utmost respect. Every person we work on we should of course be treated with the utmost respect. Mm -hmm. But we have the opportunity to, to work on him. We have the opportunity to excise tissue, <clears throat> do restoration. And so for that it's an incredible gift that, that we have. And mm -hmm. so. I'm grateful to Piedmont Tech, of course, Diedrich for, you know, helping put this all together because he's an intricate part in this, of course. But it doesn't happen without without the gift of giving uh, their body to science. So. probably how to create the smile on a um, deceased person. Um, the smile kind of creates a pleasant look and it uh, gives a little better atmosphere for the loved one's family. And I never really thought you could do something like that, so it was something cool I learned. Hi, I'm Deb Warner and I'm from Wallington, New Jersey, and I found this, this program with Matt to be on every level. Um, he, he made it very understandable. The people here were patient with me they even though I asked questions they already knew about they helped me and um, it wasn't intimidating at all even though I thought it was going to be and I ha I it was a great experience the greatest takeaway was the uh, learning how to do the bra strap incision yes yeah. what were you using before 
two incisions. Two incisions? I was doing a, a one on the clavicle and then one underneath to get the subclavian. So oh, okay. uh, it was two incisions that I had to sew up. After. But you were still getting the, you were still raising the clavicle. Right. I mean the subclavian. The subclavian. But you were right. using two incisions. Right. And you were probably using the oblique incision, right? Yes. So now you can go up and down. Right. Across the clavicle and achieve the same thing with one decision. I'll try that next time. <laughs> I, what, I, what I learned and I thought was really cool and I'm going to try it is um, actually um, doing the buttons in the ears, oh, the ears to pull the sides of the head together when you have a crushed head or when when you're uh, having to work with um, bones that are needing to be pulled together. So I'm going to try that and uh, that was a really great tip. Standing them up on uh, using the cot. Oh yeah, positioning the body up yeah. using the law of gravity. That was fantastic. 24 hours, that was great. That was fantastic. I think it's important that as a practicing embalmer, we continually learn new procedures, get other people's ideas, a good exchange. You don't get those going to your local funeral director meetings. And this is a great opportunity. My wife is going to be newly licensed soon, and I thought it would be a great experience for her to see the right way it's for something to be done. Hello everyone, this is Nelson Sanchez here with Frigid Fluid Company. We're here at Piedmont Technical College in Greenwood, South Carolina. We're sponsoring Matt Smith two-day hands-on seminar. And we're proud to be here, we're having a great time. Students are learning a lot. We are able to learn a lot of techniques that not only Matt but the entire team is bringing into the industry. And like we always said, we're learning a lot and we, we're thrilled to work for the families not only in the U.S. but across the globe, so we can provide the best funeral service possible to all of our communities. So thank you very much, we're excited to be here. Hi, I'm Tom Stark with Moby Medical. We're a small uh, manufacturer of mortuary equipment and supplies based in South Carolina. And uh, we kind of specialize in anything having to do with transporting, lifting a body, uh, moving a body around. We, we make our own embalming tables. Uh, mortuary cots, church trucks, scissor lifts, body casket lifts, body storage racks, uh, coolers, all kinds of things. And we've been around about eight years and uh, we specialize in, in uh, giving good customer service. We have really great prices and we'd love to help you.